take another L. Designer on me, this they new Chanel. Did they splash? Did they drill? Yeah, yeah, champion, huh? Yeah, we here. Yeah, yeah, this the winning team. Six rings with a pinky ring. Everybody used to. From the site of Super Bowl 56, set to be contested this upcoming February, we are at the gorgeous new SoFi Stadium here at Inglewood. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the Washington football team and the Los Angeles Chargers. Two teams trying to stake their claim to postseason football. Week 14 of the NFL is underway. up past the 40-yard line. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. Two yards on the first down carry, and then followed up by two yards on the second down carry. Well, that's definitely not going to be enough to get the job done. Wasn't the expression three yards in a cloud of dust? <laughs> now they're going to need six on third down to keep the drive going. This defense looking for an early stop. This is third down and six. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jerome Baker. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. Well, that is a quick lesson on how difficult this defense is to throw against an interception on their initial drive of the ball game. Now we know why their offensive staff spent the entire week awake trying to prepare for this one because you can't totally shy away from throwing the football. But at the same time, you're looking at them and going, where are the weaknesses? How are we going to move it? One of the top defenses in the NFL for a reason. We just saw one example right there. On first down, Hurts. And he's got it. Got his man on the end round. Complete. Fired that one in there, able to make connection on a nice in route. With those faster passes and they're going that fast, any hesitation as a quarterback that the deflection, if you miss, might be bigger and lead to an interception? Yeah, and the deflection works both ways. Maybe a defender gets a hand in the way and it pops in the air. And sometimes you throw it so hard your receiver can't handle it, and he pops it up in the air for the defenders to grab as well. But a moot point there is they were able to connect. First carry now for the forward Badger, Jonathan Taylor. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue, just make sure you feed me the football? And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. Is down near the 30 yard line. 13 yards there at a Washington first. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea slow him down, otherwise, it's going to be a long afternoon. So, first and 10 now from the 30. They'll run for the first time with Clyde Edwards-Alaire. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. 
Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. From the gun, it's Hurts. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before you get a good head of steam going. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. From the gun, it's Taylor. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Bit of a surprise. They ran it on third and medium. Proved to be the right call. First and 10. 13 yards. And the Washington first down. Two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They give to Taylor out of the gun, and he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up the first and goal. First and goal, Washington. They'll look to run with Taylor, and he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Washington. Jonathan Taylor, touchdown number 15 of the year. And Washington has taken a first-quarter lead. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? Point after try, forthcoming. It's good, and Washington will take a 7-0 lead. Makes this Washington 7, Chargers nothing. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Open man here. Sims complete. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. First play of the drive going for 14 and a first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route. Just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Call it a gain of 14 for the second play in a row. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. Stick with Eckler. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. 
A gain of three, second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. On second down, Eckler. And he's going to be stopped close to the first down marker at Washington's 12-yard line. 37. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. here with Eckler and he'll be brought down losing yardage back at the 40. The loss of a full three yards and now it's second down. This defense is really flown around in the first half. They've gotten to the ball carrier before they can really get started. Offense got to come up with something else in order to try and get this running game going. Switch it up here and look to throw. A very quick pass to Ridley. And they're going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at Washington's nine-yard line. It's 20-yard line. Catch number 44 of on the year. It's a first down. On the ground, it's Eckler. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Not enough there for a first. No gain, as a matter of fact. And it leaves them at third and one. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. And it's complete. Henry. And the Chargers are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Keep in mind, if you're thinking of staying on the ground, this is a top-five rush defense. Yeah, but I don't think you shy away totally with the run. At least show them the hint of a run before you decide to throw the football. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And that'll get him halfway there as he takes it from the six to the three-yard line. The tackle made. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. They'll look to throw on third and goal. The quick slant cut. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Steven Sims with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Chargers are an extra point away from tying this thing up. It's up and good, and we're tied at seven here in quarter number two. Ties the game at seven. 
So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Taken about seven yards deep. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. 25-yard line. set and ready for this next drive the Washington offense after the long touchdown drive we just saw you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time too had to sit over there for a little while didn't they you know they were eager amped up to get back on the field after just scoring hoping to get the ball back quickly that didn't happen so I'd say come out just kind of get started again you know doesn't have to be anything dramatic just get moving get loose again and see if they can get it downfield nice way to start the drive a gain of 12 and a first down is going to try and run. First and 10, Taylor now. And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. Second and 11 now. <laughs> Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. That's complete, Terry McLaurin with it. And he finally goes down, but not before reaching the 21. A huge play there for Washington. 44 yards. Second quarter, two minutes to go. Tie ball game. Coming up at halftime, I'll go from one personality, that's you, Charles Davis, to another one in Orlando, the coach. They'll have stats and scores from around the NFL. You and Jonathan Coachman, both larger than life. No doubt about it. But you're stuck with me in this booth, <laughs> yes, and he's miles away and smiling. And happy. They'll contain him to just four, second down. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. Thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. the option on second down they'll get this out wide to taylor and he's able to work it here to the eight yard line nine yards on the play there and it'll set him up first and goal another catch for him there on this drive brandon and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can and that time they pick up a first down so now on defense 
Do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Throwing his hurts. They'll set up the screen to Edwards Alaire. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner. Everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Second and goal from inside the five. Taylor. And he's going to get this back to the three-yard line and no further. Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. A quick toss out right, and he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Touchdown. Terry McLaurin hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And Washington has taken the lead. Now the try here for the point after. And the kick makes it through, but flags come flying in as well. It appears we're going to get a roughing call tacked on. post because officials always tell you I don't want to throw the flag but you caused the play you did it I had to and that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback They're on 25 yard line a little over 20 seconds remaining in the half as they'll line up here first and 10. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He's going to look for Allen now on the deep ball. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. He was covered by Stephon Gilmore. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. They'll run here with Taylor. And they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. Here's Hurts to throw. And that is caught. Touchdown, Washington. Juju Smith-Schuster in the final seconds of the first half. And Washington able to stretch that lead out even further. 
So simple math here in the first half. They've had three drives offensively, and they have scored every time, and they've got the lead. Well, whenever we talk about adjustments, we usually talk about an offense making adjustments, right? This is all about the defense. They've got to figure out some way, somehow, to slow them down. Do they blitz a little bit more? Do they play more zone coverage? Right now, they don't know where to go because they're hitting them in every direction. At their own 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So we've reached the intermission in what right now is a 13-point game. As we send you to our EA Studios in Orlando, here's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. So Washington in a good spot. They've got the lead. They will get the football as the second half gets underway. Taken about seven yards deep. And they'll bring it out to the 25 as Agnew elects for the touchback. set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. They built a good first half lead, now they have a chance to add on to it. And what I'm thinking is that the offensive staff spent the entire halftime just working. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked off by Nasir Adderley. Not the way you envision things to start out the third quarter. One play and already a turnover. It's interesting, you and I were talking with the coach and he talked about how at halftime, as a play caller, he wanted to make sure he got a new script going for the second half, not just the one that he operated off of to start the game. Nowhere on that script did it have that result. defensively to force the incompletion. Now, even though this drive started in plus territory, they're still not in field goal range yet. So they can work towards another couple of stops and not allowing that turnover to hurt. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. On the screen, this is Eckler. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He'll air this one out deep for Sims. And it's incomplete. Both players had a shot at that one. Neither can get it. And it brings up fourth down. I'm sure this isn't a novel thought, but maybe run some simpler routes instead of trying to get it all back in one shot. Defense certainly appears to be ready for him. Try and get it back little by little instead of in big chunks. Washington will take over first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They're set and ready for this next drive, the Washington offense. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in him, and let him fling another one. They'll come up second and six now from the 24. Again, it's Taylor. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. 
I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. Edwards Alaire, they'll try to run for it. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. The tackle. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. They'll run on first down. Taylor. The tackle by Cole Holcomb. That's a really good gain right there. They pick up five yards halfway to a first down. The only problem now in the huddle, everyone's going to want to touch the football. Be a lot of chattering now because they've seen that they can move the line of scrimmage. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Hurts. Complete to his tight end. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. 50 catches for him now on the year, and he's got a first down. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Sets up to throw it. Looking left sideline, it's complete. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. First down, Washington. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Hurts, he's going to keep this on the option. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. That really sets him back, a loss of six. I think we call that season's greetings right there. He came up, pow, knocked him for a loss. Second down, here's Hurts. And he's going to go down. Back near midfield at the 49. And that takes a start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. From 
the shotgun. He'll look to throw. He gets this into the hands of Taylor. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. A gain of nine, not enough, and it's fourth down. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Back now at SoFi Stadium in Inglewood as we are set to bring you the home stretch here, the fourth quarter. Here's Tressway now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. At their own 20-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. And incomplete as he was knocked as he threw it, and it took the ball off course. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because it nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game. Instead, they're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. That throw into the arms of Allen. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Third and three. The Chargers on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This time it's third and three. He's had a fantastic rookie season, made a lot of lovely throws, but that wasn't one of them. Well, we got to give him one, don't we? I mean, with the year he's having, a lot easier for he and his teammates to accept that throw because for the most part, what they've seen, it's been pretty sensational. Now a throw out to his fullback is complete. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll make it a second down. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. They'll come up on a second and four now from the 40-yard line. Now a carry for Edwards Alaire. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Now, I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. First and ten, it's Hurts. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. And it's caught. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. 13 yards as they've got the connection working. His second catch in a row, first down. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. 
They're going to look to throw. And this is taken in for a Washington touchdown. Terry McLaurin with touchdown number two in the game and now 11 on the year. And Washington going to add on to their lead. Now, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. And he'll get into the end zone as the two-point conversion is successful. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still on the attack. We'll see how they attack him here. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Down at the 43-yard line. Going on the ground with Eckler. And a well pass midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Give him 15 yards on that one, and a charger first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw it through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Seven-yard pickup brings up second and three. your football as we welcome you back from the two-minute warning. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On first down, he'll drop to throw. And he's going to be taken down. Pressure gets there back at the 39-yard line. And you hate to say it with a rookie quarterback. He's done some good things, but overall... Looked a little bit overwhelmed back there, hasn't he? He certainly has. But in his defense, he had not have a lot of time to throw the football. You like the way I said that? In his defense. In his defense. I got it. You yeah. see what I did there? Yeah. He needs better protection, that's for sure. out of that one, but they'll still need to convert on third. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. and you can almost see through his face mask. There's a lot going on in between the ears. There certainly is, and probably way too much because now he's probably doubting himself a little bit, wondering what adjustments he has to make. But here's what he needs to do. Get through this game, go to the press conference, meet it head on, and show your teammates you're ready to shoulder what happened today, and you'll be ready for the next game. And if he can do that as a rookie, that's a great sign of maturity. Eight That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive game. Just keep that clock ticking. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. 
They run once more with Taylor. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. A gain of three on the play. First down, Washington. Today. So it's Washington getting the victory here. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was it all came together in the second half and no points were allowed that's a great way to close them out so for Washington it's a very important win as they move to nine and four now of the year and they'll head back home next week to take on the Arizona Cardinals meanwhile for the Chargers you wonder what this will do to their playoff prospects as they fall to eight and five and they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road I'm Brandon Gunn. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.